you want me to do? Not be friends with Angie Harrington. Okay, I'm not gonna do that. Hi, friends. It's been a while since we talked about the Salt Lake City gals and child. This show has become pure chaos. I don't even know where to start because I was so confused by the end of this week's episode. All I can say is Jen needs to hurry up and go to prison. I don't understand why these girls are kissing her butt knowing that she's a criminal, like she scammed the elders. I would never trust a bitch that can do that to old people. Shoot, I won't even leave my bag around Jen. So I don't know why are they so desperate to prove their loyalty to someone that's not loyal, like what am I missing? Sorry but not sorry but Mary needs to come back, before we get into the recap. Ladies and gentlemen I present to you the Erica Jane of Salt Lake City, allegedly. Okay now DJ you can drop the beat. So the episode opens with Jen the fraud throwing Angie H's $1,500 heels into the water while the ladies were sitting downstairs on the yacht, she was seen pushing Lisa Barlow after Lisa failed to comfort her after her fight with Angie K. Last week, she poured champagne over Angie K's head, and when Angie H asked her if she saw her shoes, Jen had the nerve to say in quotes, no one touched your shoes Angie. And quotes, again this woman can lie. Then she got mad when Lisa Barlow called her a liar. Not clicking. What's not clicking? Our next fight started when the newbie Dana stirred up the pot by throwing two-faced, flip-flop bad weather under the bus. Child, Miss Dana told Jen she doesn't understand her friendship with Heather, because not too long ago, Heather said if Jen was to give her an alternative, she will choose NGH and to make matters worse, she added that Heather agreed with the decision made by the Harringtons that they shouldn't publicly apologize to the Shaws over the whole shock exposed. With Heather being exposed, Jen tried to call out Heather for being a fake friend but Lisa came in and cleared Jen, she let the table know that indeed Jen too has been talking behind Heather's back. <coughs> All I have to say is all of these women talk about each other. But I find it absurd that Jen constantly demands loyalty from these girls when she'd be the first one to turn on them and to give a grown-ass woman an alternative that's bullshit. Jen only seeks to control people. She's definitely giving narcissist vibes. Jen should be worrying about how she's going to survive prison for the next 10 years or so. Hold on, let me get my glasses on so I can see it. What is that? Oh, it's a bitch! <laughs> well, friends, this is the end of this TED Talk. What are y'all thoughts on Jen the Fraud? Do these women owe Jen loyalty? Do y'all miss Mary? Did you guys love watching Heather being exposed? What about the newbies y'all like them or nah? Thanks again for watching. Call y'all back.